child labor a major problem not only in india but also in all the developing countries indeed a great social problem we often find children working in dhabas factories tea stalls fields and homes they are deprived of a normal carefree childhood schooling becomes a distant dream and a perpetual state of poverty becomes a reality dreams become a mirage child labor is often born out of the need for survival often the reason is to increase the income of a poor family industries often employ children under 14 in the hope of reducing the labor cost in their organization in a developed society where every citizen counts and all citizens have to have proper education health care support games and entertainment a child with less or absolutely no education finds it hard to survive hello everyone so here we start with part 2 of chapter 2 from the book flamingo lost a spring i want to drive a car mukesh a boy belonging to ferozabad a small time town of uttar pradesh mukesh and many other children of his age are working as child laborer in a glass factory but mukesh wants to be a motor mechanic these families engaging their children into the hazardous work of bangle making are unaware that child labor is an illegal profession they have no idea that if it comes to light they can all land into jail the children are made to work in extremely life threatening conditions their eyes become prone to working in the dark so much so that when they come out they lose their eyesight early they become prone to several respiratory diseases their bodies are deformed due to sitting in the same posture for a long time they live in houses with crumbling walls the author gets to visit his house and she gets the shock of her life the author realizes that it is a slum area the lanes are stinking and choked with garbage the homes look no better than hovels their walls are crumbling the doors are wobbly with no windows the homes are crowded with humans and animals living together mukesh's home looked like a half built shack in one of its part a firewood stove has a large vessel on it a frail delicate young woman is cooking the evening meal she is the wife of his elder brother as his father comes in she brings her veil closer to her face the old man is a poor bangle maker even after long years of hard labor he has been unable to renovate his house he has been unable to send his two sons to school his grandmother is also there when the author gets talking to the old lady and questions that when they know that their children will go blind from the dust of polishing the glass why do they insist that the children become part of this hazardous profession she gets an answer most unexpected the old lady says that it is his karm his destiny here the author comes to know that they are fatalist by nature they resort everything to destiny in life for them good or bad whatever happens in life it all happens due to destiny she also comes across another girl savita and is surprised to see that her hands they move like the tongs of a machine she happens to notice that these children are so adept of making bangles that they work like robots here she starts wondering that does this young girl savita even knows that the bangles she is making the bangles which brings colors to the lives of so many women all over the world are a symbol of auspiciousness in marriage does she even know 
that the colors she is spreading into the life of so many women she herself lacks color in her own life she here comes to realize that this girl will know the authenticity of the bangles only the day she becomes a bride herself on talking with her she gets to know that they have not been able to get even one full square meal a day in their lifetime she is left thinking that when a profession does not even bring them sufficient income sufficient food why do they remain clinging to it and this is an eye opener for her that their hackneyed their fossilized thinking prohibits them from doing anything new from venturing out for anything different in life the writer feels sorry for these bangle makers she realizes that these bangle makers live in utter poverty generation after generation they believe that they are the people who are destined to work as glass bangle makers they make beautiful bangles for women but they live in dark themselves they have to look at the hot bright furnaces while polishing the bangles while welding pieces of colored glass into bangles they have no other option but to sit near flickering lamps hence they are forced to stay in a dark room and their eyes are not in a position to see the daylight outside they become blind even before they become adults looking at all these conditions the author gives them a suggestion that they should form a cooperative and here she gets another shock of an answer she comes to find that they are afraid of getting into a cooperative they fear that if they would even try they would be put into jail and they would be beaten for doing something illegal she comes to find that they lack leadership among them she comes to realize that they themselves are unable to come out of the rut that they are stuck in she finds it very painful to listen to the young and the old both talking in the same manner she finds it extremely disturbing to see that the young also begin to talk like elderly within no time she comes to notice that on one side is a family caught in a web of poverty burdened by the stigma of caste and at the same time a vicious nexus of sahukars middlemen policemen keepers of law bureaucrats and politicians she realizes that the child becomes the biggest sufferer of all the child has to suffer a baggage that he cannot put down even before the child realizes it he has accepted it very very naturally government agencies sahukars middlemen police they have no sympathy towards the pitiable conditions in which the bangle makers are making a living they do not empathize with the bangle makers at all they are not sensitized towards their rights which can give them a life of dignity not only this the bangle makers have to understand that their children have the right to education irrespective of their financial condition as it is education alone that can change the fortunes of their children children like mukesh should not be working in a bangle making factory as the working conditions are dangerous and hence can affect the life of children instead they should be attending schools but these children have no idea what their life is headed towards a dream comes naturally and everybody has a right to it whether rich or poor it is true that mukesh has challenges in life but he is very optimistic though the dream is like a mirage for him he belongs to a family that is in the marginalized category of the society he dislikes his profession of bangle making that blinds children at an early age and gives no proper food or shelter he wants to become a motor mechanic even though he has been working for years in the bangle making factory he knows about the vicious circle of politicians and middlemen yet 
he has a dream to fulfill one day when the writer questions if he would fly an airplane he very quietly says no and the writer notices that even in his no there is no regret he might be embarrassed for saying no but he isn't regretful she comes to understand that even if he manages to become a car mechanic even this is going to be a big dream come true he insists on being his own master he wants to be a motor mechanic he seems determined about fulfilling his dream and with this kind of determination and keenness he can definitely fulfill his dream which is surely not impossible he can first work as a trainee at the garage if he works hard enough picks up the skills and the mechanical operations etc he will soon be a good mechanic while on job he can learn car driving which will help him in fulfilling his dream of becoming a taxi driver who knows that with mukesh many other boys take courage and they come forward to fulfill their dreams who knows mukesh may become a pioneer for the other boys of his age who knows mukesh may be a torch bearer for the boys of his community that if they want to make a better life they will somewhere have to bring an end to the bangal making profession yes flying an airplane may be a lofty dream flying an airplane may be a high dream but becoming a car mechanic is a grounded dream and society and his family must must give mukesh this opportunity to fulfill his dream maybe only when the society the families will take initiative we would see a different india we would see a better india we would see healthy children we would see smiling children we would see well educated children